Good morning, everyone. Today, um, we uh, see the feast of St. Agatha, um, who um, was martyred uh, early on in um, the Christian years, I think she was about in the year 250 or so. Um, she was one of those um, virgins who was not prepared to give up her virginity because of her uh, values and her insistence on dedicating to the Lord. Um, her, her death was, was gruesome. Um, her, she's patron saint of uh, people with breast cancer and various other things, and, and also patron saint of bell ringers. Um, I'm not quite sure where that comes in. But um, yeah, somebody who was prepared to, to go to her death rather than um, giving up her values, and I think that's important. Today, um, I, being Monday, as I said, I'll continue every Monday with um, having a look at the sacraments. And the first of the sacraments that we um, remember, I suppose, because baptism, we're all babies, so don't remove too much of that, is the sacrament of reconciliation. Now, it's rather an interesting one because uh, when I was a kid, I'm going to date myself a bit here, um, we used to have to go to uh, confession every Saturday if we wanted to go to communion on the Sunday. That was a prerequisite. You didn't go to confession, you couldn't go to, to communion. And the result is that you had lots and lots of people sitting in the benches at communion time and very few actually going up for communion. Now clearly um, that was not the intention of the Lord. He wanted everybody to come to them. So um, it was clarified that unless you had committed any really serious grievous sins that you didn't need to go to confession um, before receiving communion. But if you had committed grievous sins, then you needed to. Um, Unfortunately, I think that's brought about about the wrong sort of idea about uh, sacrament of reconciliation. We still used to think of it as confession, um, where people said, oh, that means I don't have to go to confession anymore. And the question then is asked, why can't I simply confess my sins directly to God? Why do I have to go to a priest? And that's a, a question that is asked of, of Catholics often um, by those who don't have the sacrament of, of reconciliation available to them. Um, and, and the answer is quite simply because... It, it, it gives us an opportunity to confront ourselves, I think, with our misdeeds or our sins. And we need to remind ourselves that Jesus said to the apostles, whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Whose sins you retain, they are retained. He, he wants us to actually work through, if you like, somebody who can assist us in that process. And so sin we need to remind ourselves is when we damage our relationship with God. And part of that process of healing is, is reconciliation. And it's not just confession, not just giving that list. When we go to, to the sacrament of reconciliation, we know the priest has said to us, you're absolved of your sins. We know that we have been reconciled with the Lord. So we should avail ourselves of this wonderful sacrament and, and do it often. We'll be talking a little bit more about the sacrament during the week because the readings do lend themselves to it. But you have a wonderful uh, day and look after yourselves. We'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.